20% inflation is forcing families here to forego meals and businesses to lose incomes. And that's adding to the tension surrounding this year's elections in Sierra Leone. Masira Tura has been on the streets for hours trying to sell her wares. You walk all day but can't find a buyer. The value of the local currency has plummeted. The government is under pressure to find solutions for a faltering economy. But analysts say change won't come quickly, regardless of who wins the presidential election. Unemployment, the economic difficulties, the security issues, and people staying in jobs. So these are issues that any uh, president will have to contend with, and they are difficult issues. There are fears of violence after the opposition threatened to disrupt the polls, alleging bias and irregularities in the voters' register. More than three million people here in Sierra Leone have registered to vote in this election, most of them women. But because the campaigns have been marked by violence and intimidation, it's not clear whether the turnout will be as high as in the previous election. But the Electoral Commission says these incidents will neither mar nor stop the vote. It says it isn't leaving anything to chance. We are working with the police, the military, and other security sector members. They are supporting us. They have deployed their personnel. Back on the streets of the capital, Sierra Leone's younger generation say the country needs to focus on the future. The tuition fee is too much. You know, we are spending a lot. So we are looking forward for policies from government that are coming to at least to ease the burden on these students. Free education will continue. I want to see the continuation of free education, economic empowerment, food security and peace. Whoever wins the vote will have the difficult task of uniting a country where political divisions have only deepened over the last few years. Addressing the country's economic challenges will be the key to rebuilding both citizen and investor confidence. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Freetown.